Welcome everybody. Sorry for that little lag here. We're trying to make sure we have our technology all set up, um, but here you are at your final session um, Q&A where we're going to moderate some questions from you. I just want to thank you one more time. What a fantastic morning this has been. Uh, so much learning about Deluxe and our specific breakout sessions. Um, this particular session is of importance to me because um, being a partner with all of our recruiters and our talent acquisition team, we're here to help answer questions that you have. And as I tee this up, I want to make sure I'm going to go back to when we opened this morning. One of the things I told you in terms of your three points to remember was a kudos about doing your homework. And that's what you're doing on Deluxe right now. The one thing that I didn't mention that is really important is that we are very transparent and open. So when you see our job postings, you will actually see a, sometimes a picture, sometimes just the name, but you're going to see the recruiter who's actually associated with that job. So when I say that we're open and transparent, there's contact information and you can feel free to contact that recruiter specifically um, about those jobs. So with that, I have got um, my fantastic, some members of our fantastic recruiting team here who are um, really just, uh, I, I almost can't say I get a little choked up when I say are so fan great about connecting with candidates. In fact, we call you guys customers instead of candidates because that's what you really are as customers of ours. So I would say we have some questions queued up and Mia, I believe you're moderating and we'll be asking those questions. Yep, and I can Great. start here. Um, if you, so we have Jeff Hansen and Mar Marjorie Clark here, um, and Stacey, if you can help answer as well, that's totally um, fine. But any questions that come in, kind of first come, first serve, um, we can have Jeff start off right off the bat, and then um, we'll just kind of go through them as they come in. So if you guys do have questions, again, like Stacey said, uh, please just pop them in the chat. And um, I'm going to start off here with this first one. What opportunities, if any, do you have for new developers in early stages of learning, looking for a way to get into Deluxe while continuing learning uh, in the development process at the same time? Awesome. Um, great question. So um, what we do, and, and this is kind of the focus I always tell people, is take a look at what your skills are. And then on our job site at jobs.deluxe.com, um, we always have the um, our basic qualifications posted for all of our positions. Uh, basically, uh, the, the basic qualifications have to be met for candidates coming through uh, in order for them to be considered considered for the position. But one of the other great things um, and assets we have on our job site is our uh, the ability to join our talent community. And that way, if a position isn't posted that's a perfect fit for you at the time, uh, you can join our talent community and receive um, alerts of when new positions do post. And then you can check out the qualifications based off of those uh, positions as well. Um, and then um, also, you know, uh, be able to apply for them when they do post. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jeff. Um, and I'm seeing that, um, do we have B on and Chris? Maybe you can talk a little bit about the development opportunities in your area as well. Um, we do have quite a bit that we offer through talent management. So Jeff, that was a really great start um, into, into this information. But B, are you on? You're on mute if you're talking. <laughs> if she's not on, oh, I see Dina can't click on her. I was going to say we could jump to Chris. Yeah. You guys hear us right now? Yes, perfect. Hey, Chris. Okay. Oh, there you are. Do you guys have any input on development opportunities um, at Deluxe that you could speak to? Um, so, yeah, you know, development in terms of the actual engineering roles is, I think that's what we're asking for. Um, so, just in terms of the actual, there is the engineering opportunities itself, which is the programming, um, the solution architecture, but we also have opportunities in terms of 
um, you know, Agile, Scrum, products are right where you've got opportunities in terms of user experience, UI development, product. So there's a whole slew of this. It's pretty much what I call the entire Scrum team coming together, right? This is kind of the team that comes together to make sure things happen. So those are kind of at a very high level. Those are all the different roles that we have. Great, thank you so much. Um, Sarah, I'm we're going to go to the next question here. Um, this person says, I was not able to find entry level roles for recent graduates. Does Deluxe have such opportunities, particularly in product management at Deluxe? And how can I approach this? Yeah, that's a great question. We're actually working on some programs internally for early talent. Um, and we've had some internships in the past. Our plans aren't solidified right now, but what I would encourage you to do is be checking throughout the early spring in 2022 um, as we put some of those live on the website. And that's where Jeff's information on making sure that you sign up for the talent community comes into play. Great, thank Stacey. you. Our next oh, Mia, can I jump in here? Real oh yeah, quick of course. Product management as well. So. We have a number of product management roles um, in our payments and our cloud solution space. So data driven marketing as well as payments um, as well as merchant services. So there are I would encourage you to check out uh, jobs.deluxe.com to uh, really take a look at some of those roles. Um, if you are, for example, a business analyst and you really want to move into more of an associate product manager, product manager role, um, you know, that's a track that you could potentially consider. But certainly take a look. Again, we've got a number of product management roles, really building our muscle in the product management space. Um, so thanks for that question around, around product management. Great. Thanks, Margie. Um, our next question here is, will your company branch out to British Columbia, Canada? I am moving there and would love to work with the company. So um, we do post all of our locations for all of our roles on the job posting. Um, there are positions that we do have in Canada that are available for fully remote that come up throughout the course of the year. Um, and I definitely don't want to uh, just consistently kind of beat the dead horse on the registering for the talent community, but that is really the best way to um, stay involved and know when postings are available in certain locations as well as based off the qualifications as well. So, um, you know, confirming that it is a uh, remote position across all of Canada's, we do have a, a large and even more growing presence in the Canadian market is something you can always do. Great, thank you so much, Jeff. Um, the next question I have is, I have more of the medical field and I would like to learn something new. Would my, re would my resume get reviewed? Um, and this person, I'm thinking that they're saying, so they're in the medical field and they have a resume that kind of pertains to that. Um, and I mean, their skills are relevant to any position. <laughs> So if you guys can talk to that a little bit about um, how we look at the resumes with, you know, fields of different er um, and in different areas. Yeah, Margie, why don't you take that and talk about how we do look at resumes as they come in? Yes, no, absolutely. So um, I would certainly, uh, Deluxe overall is in a number of different spaces. So for example, um, we have in our payments group, we sell um, our medical payments exchange. So we, there are opportunities that you, that may not even be on your radar because you've not necessarily had exposure to it or just even thought about it. But for example, um, within the sales group, um, we have recently brought in uh, individuals that focus specifically in that space and and we're really in need of that subject matter expertise so i would take a look at your your passions your interests take a look at uh, jobs.deluxe.com as stacy mentioned the recruiters are listed on the 
um, job postings. So if there are some transferable skills that um, that could parlay into our opportunities and you have questions, please feel free to reach out. I've had a number of individuals reach out to me via LinkedIn chat to inquire about the roles just to gain additional understanding and knowledge of how they could potentially transfer skills and interest into opportunities here at Deluxe. So I would encourage that dialogue with us as recruiters as well so that we can help guide and um, you know, direct you, if you will, as it relates to your career interest and, and opportunities here at Deluxe, because they are vast. Great, thank you so much. And I think um, to kind of build off of that, we have one. What is some advice you would give to someone looking um, to get into the IT analyst field who doesn't have uh, much real world experience? So, you know, maybe they don't have experience in that certain field. Um, and I think we can kind of relate that last question to this response as well. And Chris, maybe what we'll have you do is jump in on that one. I mean, right, did you, um, uh, me, I, I missed the question that you had again. Yeah, no worries. Um, what is some advice you would give to someone looking to get into the IT analyst field who doesn't have much real world experience? So I think we, from a career path perspective, um, you know, if you're trying to get into something entry level, from an IT analyst perspective, really, it's uh, it's trying to understand the uh, the process. You know, there is the agile part of it. How really all of these things flow? I think that is a great entry point. Uh, in some of these cases, you know, I, I heard about the medical exchange piece of it that Margie talked about. You know, really, if you're bringing in some of that expertise from a vertical standpoint, whether it is medical, whether it's payment of processes, that's a great place to start with because we're always looking for that kind of expertise, right? We sure we're building the right things. So I would think that that would be, a, you know, bringing you as the roles changes and as you are exposed to more things within Deluxe, is you could pick up whether that is based on training, mentoring, learning, those different opportunities if you want to get right programming languages, what do we want to do? So there's a lot of those that we can do to help you with that movement, help you with that advancement from a career standpoint. I totally agree with you, Chris. And you're you're cutting out a little bit. So if we ask you to answer another question, maybe we'll have you off video. It will help with bandwidth. That's why some of us are off video. Um, and I just want to follow up. It looks like we've had several questions about that kind of early entry or career transition. And one of the things I want you all to know is that we work really hard at Deluxe to help our hiring managers and teams understand that we're in a place right now where we're hiring for potential. That means that we're looking not so much at the check boxes of someone has to have ABC, but more at what is their potential to fit our values, our culture, and our organization. So I would still encourage you to apply for positions um, and know that our recruiters do a very good job of making sure that they do review those resumes. Stacy, one other thing I'd add to is I think sometimes um, we don't necessarily factor in experiences that we've had, whether it's been volunteerism, whether it's part of a board, just just projects and initiatives that we've worked on, even you know, in university. How can we transfer some of those skills and interest and knowledge and leverage that um, in new opportunities? So don't discount, you know, those other aspects of things that you do as you think about, you know, your career and how you can really parlay that into opportunities. Great. Thank you, Marjorie. Thank you, Stacey. Um, that was a really great point. I think that our next question we're going to go into is um, with going back into the office, what does a hybrid model look like at Deluxe? And I'll leave that one up to you, Jeff. And you're on mute. Thank you for the reminder, Mia. Um, and uh, 
I actually love this question. I answer this question uh, pretty much on every interview. Um, and we have a really exciting opportunity right now um, at Deluxe, uh, especially in um, our headquarters in Minneapolis, as well as our two major hub locations in uh, Kansas City as well as Atlanta and right now as we're returning to the office um, Deluxe's philosophy is a more often than not um, in the office work environment however we do have um, the technological capabilities to function and work remotely um, so when we when we're going to have the opportunity Deluxe has made great investments in our um, actual hub locations as far as the real estate to be uh, very tech forward um, and also facilitate uh, collaborative and cohesive work um, to be able to utilize the technology at those locations when giving presentations, completing projects as teams, but also the flexibility when it's going to be the heads down type work, maybe meeting with people in other locations or on um, customer calls, things along those lines for most of the day to have that flexibility to work from home. So I never like to kind of pin, you know, three days in, two days out, anything along those lines just because one week the team may be meeting the whole week and you're in the office four or five days but then the next week because all of that project work was done up front you might only come in once or twice so um really we're, we're trying to cater to a very flexible style of work but also ensuring that we're utilizing and sticking with the um traditions and the feel and the culture of deluxe of uh collaborating and working together in person Awesome. Perfect. So our next question is, um, I applied for a position prior to learning of this event. Is applying to one all I need to do or can I apply to multiple offerings? You can actually apply to multiple roles, so you're not limited to applying to just one role and we encourage that because you know, there may be a number of opportunities that align with your career trajectory goals. And so definitely encourage you to apply to more than one opportunity if you see something out there that's of interest to you. Perfect. And I think to kind of go off of that, um, I, I think the question was also, is it OK to just apply to one? Like, do we have their resume or do they have to apply to multiple? That makes sense. Stacey, so, if they're interested in multiple different roles. Yeah. Yes. They 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 should apply for each one that they are interested in. Great. OK, thank you. Um, we'll do an easy one. How do you register for the talent community? Ooh, I'll handle this one. <laughs> If, if you go on to jobs.deluxe.com, which is just our um, straight up job site, if you scroll all the way down at the bottom, there's a big blue button that says join our talent community. Um, and I believe it's just uh, name, email address, and, and I think that's it for contact info. And then from there, you can just select each um, uh, or kind of the areas that you have interest in uh, receiving job alerts for. And just also to really quick circle back, um, as recruiters, we we only consider, and I think this will clarify a little better, we only consider candidates uh, generally for positions they've applied to. And we will consider candidates for every position they apply to. So if you do apply to one role, that's the position we would most likely be looking at your resume for based off of uh, the basic and preferred qualifications. And if you apply to multiple roles, we'll be looking at your resume based off of any of the qualifications to any of the roles you've applied to. And where some people think it may be a negative or like you're just kind of throwing it out there to see what sticks as far as your resume. As recruiters, we like to know that people are interested that to, in multiple things, that they're diverse and feel like they could be a fit with transferable skills. So we certainly encourage you to apply for anything that you meet the qualifications for. Great. Thank you, Jeff, for elaborating on that. I will say that when I applied, I talked to Jeff. And he was very good about me um, getting into multiple different openings that maybe I was interested in. So I highly encourage you to talk with your recruiter as well. Um, they are a absolutely great resource and um, Jeff is a great recruiter. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to go to the next question here. Um, what would be the best way to get my application noticed? Will it be through a deluxe professional or directly from the career school?
you know, on this one, I would definitely say um, for an application to get it noticed. Um, you know, we're we're viewing everyone's applications um, as as they come in, but um, it never hurts to do uh, what we like to or what you know has has kind of turned into the term of a little bit of LinkedIn creeping. Reach out to us. Reach out to a hiring manager before you have an interview with them. Once you see that that's been scheduled, that's something that the team views as a positive, and we're only going to see as more interest in a role so if you connect with a recruiter or a hiring manager when you do have a um uh an interview scheduled with them and just let them know hey i'm really looking forward to this or as a recruiter hey i just dropped my application um i hope you know you get a chance to view my resume and i look forward to hearing back from you those sorts of messages and connecting on linkedin can certainly help you step um stand out anything else uh you would say margie no, I agree, uh, Jeff. I would also say, you know, as you um, as you create your resume as well, you know, things that you may not um, feel are relevant to call out may indeed be relevant. So I, you know, I would ensure that you, as you create your resume or update your resume, that you you include those um, those. And those projects, like I said, or initiatives, things that really um, you may not feel are relevant, but they truly are, especially if you're looking to uh, make a change in your career and you want to really um, leverage experiences that you've had in the past to, to ensure that your resume is robust and, and telling your story as, as it relates to your professional uh, interests, but also your experiences. Perfect. Thank you, Margie. And um, I know, yeah, when I was applying, I just hounded Jeff with <laughs> lots of emails. So um, that's one way. And then, like Margie said, you know, including that um, experience in your resume. With that, um, I did want to remind everybody that if you're applying for jobs, um, make sure to use a career fair source page uh, when you do apply. That way, we know where you um, are coming from and how you. Um, heard of Deluxe and how you got interested. So um, just a reminder to use that career fair for. And can I um, jump in, Mia, and just explain yeah. that just a little bit better is that you will be asked, where did you hear about this job? And you will click on um, events and under events, you will see virtual career fair. Great, thank you, Stacey. Yeah. Um, next question is, does Deluxe have employee appreciation? Um, I know that we do not have our um, subject matter expert on this call, but I think that um, if anybody can can talk to that, that would be great. Yeah, I, and maybe Margie, I will have you, but I will tell you all that recognizing um, our employee owners is absolute top of mind to all of us at Deluxe. And maybe Margie, you want to talk a little bit about you, Shine? So UShine is an opportunity for us to um, to recognize our employees and um, our employee owners, um, as Stacy mentioned, and we talked about this early earlier in the presentation. We own it. There's a lot more skin in the game when when you own it. There's a, a deeper level of commitment to succeed and to you know bring that grit and that perseverance and that passion daily to your role so we have that in place in order to uh, recognize one another um, and we're excited about that and I, I know personally as well as teammates we you know we've we've been recognized and we've recognized others and it's a great way for us to be able to show that appreciation and and just um, continue to encourage one another Great, thank you, Margie. Um, our next question, and I really like this one, so I wanted to say it out loud, but is it possible to have a conversation with a recruiter if we are not sure which, if any position would be a good fit? Or is it best to apply for what looks potentially close to a start a conversation? You know, I, I will take this one just because um, uh, I want to make sure that you understand that as customers, you're, you are our top priority, but we are also 
um, I'll say we're OFCCP compliant, but what that means <laughs> is that we simply have some procedures that we have to follow as a government contractor where we do need to have you formally apply for positions um, before we can have a conversation with you about those roles. Um, now, if you were to reach out, you saw a job posted and you sent a note to the recruiter just saying, I'm interested, I'm going to apply. Um, once you do apply, then you absolutely can have that conversation about the role. Wonderful. All right, well, it looks like we are at 11 a.m. CT. Um, Carly, I know your bandwidth has been a little bit bad on today, so I don't want to put it all on you to, uh, you know, close everything up. But I think that what we'll do is hand it over to Stacy to do the final closing um, and just thank everybody for being here today. That's exactly what I'll do is thank you all and encourage you to make sure that you take a look at our career site, jobs.deluxe.com. You see it there on the screen. Um, reach out to us. And uh, I really hope that everyone has a great time applying for our roles. Remember, we've got about 500 positions open right now. Um, so thank you so much. I appreciate your time today. Thank you all so much for attending. It was great to speak with you. Yes, thanks. Thanks everyone. We look forward to seeing your applications and outreach.